Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name's Nicole and I love putting together DIY gifts on a budget, pulling items from my stockpile. So for today's housewarming gift, this one is actually going to be for my rental house. I have a new tenant coming in, I have a new family, and I want to put together a little something just because I feel like it helps to foster a good relationship with your tenant and just kick it off in like a positive light. <laughs> So for this one specifically, it is a family moving in and I want to sort of curate it a little bit. So I'm gonna do partial of the gift will be some traditional housewarming things, items for the house, and then partial of the gift is going to be specifically for the two young kids who are under 10. So first I'm going to include my set of these time and table. This is the five piece utensil set. I got this during one of my Walmart clearances. This one's really nice because you can see here the five pieces included. They're silicone. They look pretty durable. I actually got a few of these. There were a bunch of them months and months ago on clearance. You can see on the was price shows $19.99. And this was actually marked down multiple times and I ended up getting it for $3. Not a bad deal for a brand new utensil set. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and include a brand new vase. This one has the pretty crackle design. I got this during one of the Dollar General after Easter clearances last year at 90% off. So this is $12. I only paid $1.20 for this. I think it's always nice to have an extra vase on hand. And then next, you saw this during my consignment pop-up haul. I'm going to include this three-piece mixing bowl set. This is the one I got on 50% off day during that local consignment pop-up. This is a brand new, it's still in the package, and I ended up getting it for $3.50. I don't have like a retail price on this one, but if I look it up, I'll go ahead and drop it on the screen here for you to see. And I always think it's just nice to have extra bowls when you're just freshly moving into your place. Next, just for a couple of like nice edible treats, I'm gonna include one box of the Russell Stover's sort, chocolate assortments that I got during the Dollar General clearance after Valentine's Day at 90% off. So I ended up only paying $1.20 for this box. Next, you've already seen these multiple times, but I'm going to include another bag because I have, still have some of these. This bag of the Sweet Chaos popcorn. This is the drizzled popcorn in the flavor of hot cocoa. Again, 90% off Dollar General after Valentine's Day clearance. Ended up getting it for 33 cents. Such a great deal because they're full-size bags of popcorn. And then for a couple of little goodies for the kids, the mom has two little boys, so I'm gonna include one of my Spider-Man activity journal and sticker sets. If you remember, this is the one that I've included in my Walmart hidden clearance. You can see on the Walmart app, these are going for $15.34, originally $17.99, but I found that on hidden clearance for $2.50. Great price for a kid's activity set that's actually Marvel branded. I'm gonna include my robot racing car that I also got during my consignment pop-up event haul. This is brand new, still in the package. This exact car was selling at Walmart for $16.99 when I purchased this, and I ended up getting it on 50% off day during that consignment event, so I only paid $2.50 when the consigner was asking for five, so that's a pretty good deal. Next, also at Walmart, you remember that I included these in my haul, these little pop pop poppers. Kind of crazy that the original price on this was near, I think, like $9. They marked it down to $3.44, and then again, I ended up, they marked it down, and I ended up getting it for $1. These are great little toys to have, especially for young kids, because they're pretty kid safe. And also for the little boys, I'm going to add in this Art and Sound Panda speaker that I got. It also comes with the earbuds, which is nice. Remember I got these during my family dollar haul when they had their 75% off clearance on a lot of their speakers. So this one was $10 and I ended up paying 250. 
I think this is a really cute addition. Plus it's wireless, it's a combo pack. And then last for the little boys, I'm gonna include this green color changing hot cocoa set. These are the ones, this comes with the little dinosaur fidget as well. The hot cocoa changes green, which is kind of fun. These are the ones that I got during the big lots after Christmas sale. You can see that if you bought these during the holiday time, they're $5.99 original price. At 75% off, they marked it down to $1.49 and I stacked it with my email coupon, so the final price on this was only $1.19. Pretty cute little hot cocoa set, I think. Now, I'm going to add these in a box. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my free boxes that I get just at the grocery stores or this one's at Costco. And I'm gonna wrap the box in just some leftover uh, holiday wrapping paper that I have. Let's start taping down. Okay, so I wrapped my box just in that golden white paper, and then I went ahead, since this box is kind of deep, you can see how deep it is, I went ahead and put another box just upside down inside. It fit perfectly flush inside, just so that I don't have to use so much filler in here, like paper, and I could just stand up my items right on this box with just a smaller, nice smaller edge here. All right, so let's get taping. Okay, so we're all taped down now, stuffed in my box. So what I did was one side for home stuff and then the other side I did for the kids. So you can see here, I taped down my box of chocolates, those mixing bowls, the cereal. I have the vase back here, which you can't really see, but uh, that's okay, I'm okay with that. Five PC tinsel set here and then on the other side is where I made it the kids side. So you can see here I put the racing car, the speaker with hot chocolate, the Spider-Man set, the popper, and I went ahead and added this bubble wand because there's a pretty big space here. But these, I, add, I got a few of these from one of my local discount stores. I got it on 40% off day. So it was the additional discount. So this one was 60 cents, which I thought was an okay deal. So now that we are all taped down and I went ahead and add some of my 10 cent Easter grass that I get after Easter, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wrap and then add a bow. So I have a couple choices. These are a couple ribbons that I got. They're all brand new. They still have the plastic wrap on them but I thought at least one of these would match with our gift here. These I got from that consignment pop-up event where I got an entire bag of like brand new ribbons in them for very, very cheap. So it's not gonna cost me very much to just make a quick little bow out of any one of these. And we'll go ahead and tie it on top. All right, that is it for my housewarming slash welcome home gift. Check out the final look here and the total price I paid in product versus the original retail price comparison. I love that my out-of-pocket expense was just under $20 for this when I have over $100 worth of original retail value in product. We did such a great job using my stockpile on this one. I think it came out great. Let me know if you like this one, hit that thumbs up on this video. Again, obviously it's not required that you give a gift <laughs> to your tenants when they move in, but I just think that it's a nice gesture that provides a big impact, especially when they're curated to the family without having such a big out-of-pocket expense or investment to you. So let me know what you think of this idea. If you would like to see more of my budget DIYs, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of those videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.